Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Bryn Saito from her collection, The Palace of Contemplating Departure. This was published by Redhead Press in 2013 and was winner of the 2011 Benjamin Saltman Award. Um, the poem I'm going to read is towards the end of this collection and is entitled Present in All Things. In New York, summer sank into us like a hot tire and winters cut deep. So we'd walk arm in arm for a cup of warmth, our faces wrapped in snow. Now I live in a seasonless city, and I don't know where I am, or how, or what month. My grandmother, who's dead, is telling me stories, and my sister is saying I'm going to die young. And last night, I yelled at a cop in West Oakland while his partner looked on, my tremulous rage spiking the air around us with burnt cinnamon. What I mean to say is, I'm living. What I mean to say is, Sometimes I can taste my own madness, and I don't mind it, and I miss you, and I'm alive. When explaining eminence to my students, I say, eminence means everything is both sacred and equal at the same time. Do you know how revolutionary this is? History teaches us otherwise. History has taught you to tie a black ribbon tight around your throat and try singing and to do this every morning and call it good. Do you remember the tipping hill town we passed on our drive to the coast, the one with the dusk light cut from a vein and the warm bread at midnight and a dependable landline but no hot water and no spare devices for cooling? In my dreams, we arrive there and we park the car forever. Then we sit like two children at the top of a stopped Ferris wheel and tell each other everything. Uh, that was Bryn Saito, present in all things from her collection, The Palace of Contemplating Sorrow, um, Contemplating Departure. I um, really highly recommend this book and am delighted to have opportunities to read from it. Um, and from her <coughs> and from her other work. Um, I hope you're doing well, and I hope you are finding uh, pleasure in the things that you're reading as well. Um, if you enjoyed this video and this reading and this poem, please do check out the description of the video for more information about the poet, um, so you can find out more of Bryn's work and purchase her books. Uh, if you like this series on the whole, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, doing so is free. You can just hit the bell icon as well and be notified every time there's a new video. Um, we do have new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, so um, do check back often. And uh, if you have any recommendations, poets that you'd like to recommend, poems that you'd like to hear, please do comment below with those suggestions or reach out to me directly by email. Um, I'm delighted to continue this, uh, this series as long as there's interest and I guess as long as I have time to do so. Um, I find it's a, a real joy for me to have opportunities to go back into my own collection of books as well as to discover new books and um, I'm always open to suggestions of uh, new poets and poems to discover and to share on this channel. If you have recommendations, please feel free to contribute them below in the uh, comments or send them by email to me directly. And um, I hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm Neil Aiken. This is the Hermit Poetry Series, and uh, it's been a delight to share these poems with you. Um, I hope you're finding joy in the writing and reading that you do and whatever else you're doing to stay engaged in the world of art. Um, to be connected to others and to find ways um, to connect uh, beyond our immediate sphere into the world's, um, well, beyond our, our borders. And I think that is something keenly and acutely ne needed at this particular time in our lives and in our world is the ability to listen and to, to try to connect and try to understand the experiences of those um, who we don't know. Uh, who are new to us, um, who are different from us. And so in some small way, I hope that this is doing that, is to create a space from which we can encounter voices and experiences, um, people who aren't me, people who aren't you, 
and um, to to learn from them, to be moved by them, to be to be drawn into a world larger than ourselves. And I think that's key. So until next time, keep reading, keep writing, keep staying engaged, and do what you can to to find ways to connect with others and to discover um, other sides of the world uh, that you might not know. A listen to those uh, who are working in the corners and in the edges and in the margins um, that you might not have paid attention to in the past and see what it is that they are doing, what they're writing, and what beauty they're discovering today and tomorrow. So until next time, stay safe, stay well, and keep reading and being engaged, and we'll be back again soon. Bye.